It is a fixture that always carries plenty of intrigue. Two clubs who represent an unconditional commitment to excellence. Stay with us for all the live action from the Emirates. Arsenal against Manchester City. And a warm welcome from North London. We're at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. So the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Jorginho plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Mateo Kovacic starts alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. Potentially one to Sabre. Arsenal get this game underway. Kai Havertz. Saka. Yuri and Timber. Throw into Arsenal coming up. Well, Kai Havertz, a gifted, naturally left footed. Look at Derek Charles here. There it is, and he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. They go again. A wake up call for the City players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Erling Haaland. De Jong. City move it forward with purpose. Kevin De Bruyne. Foden. And now with Kovacic. Rodri. And now with Kovacic, and the flag does go up, must have been tight. <laughs> Alexander Zinchenko. Gabriel Martinelli. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Grealish City pushing forward with options available Rodri well when you sit off like this you invite pressure wonderfully weighted pass Holland and it's gone in just what was needed for Manchester City who now have squared it Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. 
Jorginho. Gabriel Martinelli. Martinelli. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Now he must favour the cross. And they deal with the threat this time. Foden. De Bruyne now. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? De Bruyne. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Jack Grealish. Rodri. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Jorginho. Can they hit on the break? Marcinelli. On to Jorginho. Havertz. Opportunity to take the lead. Really important tackle. De Bruyne. Will he play it in? Holland. This could pose problems for the defenders. Plenty of support here. Grealish, Kovacic, oh that's a fine save. <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Another corner conceded, what can they do with this one? Did his job defensively into the advanced position. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Holland, determined block. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, as you can see, he gets everything right here. What a skillful volley that is. And there we have it. The first half action is over here at the Emirates. Well, in typical fashion, Erling Haaland asking plenty of questions of the defence in the first half. Difficult to contain, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a very good first half, and key to that was his movement. So, back in business here, City with the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Defenders need to cover. And he read that brilliantly at the back. Foden. And take it away. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. No problems for the keeper. Well, Arsenal are still in this, but unless they show more composure in front of goal, this is going to be a frustrating day for them. Quite simply, they just need to get on the ball more than they have been. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Foden, crossing possibilities, will it be, and still danger here, but no, that's the end of the move, because offside is the verdict, substitution time it is here, 
Number nine, Gabriel Jesus. Well, nicely cut out. Rodri. De Jong. On to Grealish. And back with Rodri. Well, he really wants his brace. Well, he looks so bright today. His movement has been excellent. A change in the offing for City. To be replaced by number 26, Riyad Mahrez. Taken short. Mahrez. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Gabriel Jesus Declan Rice in with a chance and look at that a goal here for Arsenal who now have got themselves on terms well just look at how poor the defending is here but I have to say it's still a very tidy finish he looked really assured there So underway again at 2 all Into the final 20 minutes. Mateo Kovacic. Holland. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And De Bruyne firing is over. Struggling to get it away. Holland. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Fifteen minutes left for play. De Bruyne. Holland. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Jesus. Arsenal remain on the front foot. Can they find a winning goal? Holland. Could be a chance to break here. De Bruyne. Back to Holland. Can he put them in front? He does. And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then this is a top-class strike from Mares. His technique is absolutely spot on. Just look at the power he generates here. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Alexander Zinchenko the clock is against Arsenal but what can they pull out of the fire here now the keeper grabs it Foden De Bruyne now Holland racing forward trying to catch them out and it looked like open road for them but up a dead end Kovacic well that is how to nullify the opposition so the final whistle now and disappointment for Arsenal you've got to say a defeat for them your assessment well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on. Well, a fine performance from Erling Haaland. Really in line with what we expected, I think. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well. He scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.